Hello, everybody. Andrea Majewski here with Dental Health Tutoring. This is another video of the day in the life of a dental hygienist. And I'm going to talk about something that not a lot of hygienists will probably agree with me on. Some might, some might not, which I guess is normal. Um, but the nicer hygienists will, okay? And that is what do you do if you notice that there has been calculus left behind? Meaning, let's say you're seeing the patient for the first time you're in a new office or you're just seeing that patient for the first time, you know, somehow, right? They've been in the office for 20 years, seeing the same hygienist, or they've just been in the office for 20 years, seeing different people. But then you take x-rays and there's large pieces of tartar left behind because that you can see in the x-rays called um, calculus spurs. Um, and um, the dentist will, will probably point them out like, oh, well, look at that. Don't forget to get that. You know, it happens. What do you do? What do you do when the, when the other hygienist has left calculus behind? And it's a lot. So meaning you will have to go in there with your cavitron or piezo because hand scaling won't do it. And you're going to have to push a little harder. The patient might be uncomfortable and maybe they're used to having the easiest cleaning ever, but you might be thinking, well, yeah, because all of this sub calculus is left. What do you do? Well, let me be the first one to say, we all leave calculus behind. Even if you've been doing it for 30 years, you're going to leave some calculus behind, even if it's in the same spot all the time. You know what, you guys? It's hard work being a dental hygienist. Some teeth are tipped a certain way, some teeth are crowded. If the patient doesn't know how to open properly, if they're always like, oh, that hurts, ow, oh my God, stop it, ow, ow. What do you do? You do the best you can. So never look at that, even if it's you who left that calculus behind for 20 years. Don't look at that and go, oh my God, I can't believe I left all of that calculus behind. It happens and do not judge other hygienists. I've seen assistants do it. I've seen dentists do it. I've seen, I've seen hygienists do it. They will look at the x-rays and go, oh my God, look at that calculus. Please make sure to get that off. I'm thinking to the dentist, are you perfect when you do a filling? I doubt it. Is every filling perfectly polished and perfect? Do you always get that contact that you have to get? Probably not. And to assistants, I'm thinking, do you always, you know, take the perfect impression? Do you always take the perfect x-rays? Probably not. Nobody's perfect. So don't judge and do not say to the patient, okay, the other hygienist left a lot of calculus behind. I don't know what to tell you, but I'm, I'm going to need to get that off. So yes, you've been coming in every nine months. I won't be able to finish the cleaning today because there's calculus everywhere. You know, don't talk like that. Don't talk like that. It's going to be harder to get it off, yes. But think about it this way. If the other hygienist or hygienist or you left that calculus behind, there's a reason. It's probably really hard to get off and maybe it takes multiple appointments. Your arm, your wrist can only handle so much. I have worked in some patients' mouths where I'm cleaning, you know, maybe four teeth in one appointment, literally. With the piezo, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, but they keep closing their mouth. They have so much saliva that they, they, need, they need me to suction every half a second. They have to use the washroom every 10 minutes. Um, or there's so much bleeding that I literally can't see. So I'm doing it all by feel, by feel, by feel. And then my arm cramps up. And I can't hold it like this anymore. So I have to work somewhere else because my arm can't take it. We all have those days where we might be thinking, okay, I know I left some behind, but I can't do this. My arm hurts so bad. Or you have been doing it for the past hour that that's the end of the appointment. That's it. You will get it next time. If if the patient's been difficult, oh my God, it hurts. What are you doing? Oh my God. There's only so much you can do. So please keep that in mind. We're not perfect, especially for a new dental hygienist. Don't think that you're able to get all of that calculus off. If you're not able to do, um, if you're seeing a patient with a lot of tartar, a lot of calculus, and you can't get it off in one appointment, even if they come in every three months, 
say to them, okay, I couldn't get all of it off today because you have a lot more than usual. It was very thick charter today. So we need to finish this the next time, but I know it will be perfect the next time. It has nothing to do with you being new or not knowing what you're doing. Say to them, there's a lot more than usual and I want to do a good thorough job. Okay. That's all you have to say. Even for me, it happens where a patient comes in every three months, but today, I don't know what it is. They just have so much tartar. My piezo may not be working properly. Who knows, right? My piezo may not be working properly. I'm 20 minutes behind. I can't do the full cleaning today because there's, there's more stain. He's, he or she is just closing their mouth every two seconds and I have to keep reminding them to open. Don't be ashamed to say, okay, I couldn't do the full cleaning today. Um, you know, I, I couldn't do the whole thing today. There was a lot there, but I want to do a good thorough job. So next time, um, let's just finish it up, you know, easy. In fact, it will be even, e sorry, I just thought I saw a, um, a mosquito. So I'm just kind of doing this and you're probably all wondering why, but, um, you know, don't be ashamed to say that we all leave calculus behind. So there I said it. Every assistant isn't perfect. Every dentist isn't perfect. We make mistakes, but as a hygienist, we are also, we want to be perfect because that's part of being a hygienist. We're picky, right? We're thorough. We want to be perfect, but don't get down on yourself when you leave her behind. Okay. So I know I probably said that 20 times in different ways, but I hope this helps you guys. Please comment below if you have any comments, questions, thoughts, anything. Share your experiences. I have left Charter behind and I've had hygienists come up to me and say, you know what, you left this behind, especially when I first started. You know what, you left this behind, um, you gotta work harder, you know, some mean hygienists, right? You don't know what you're doing. Like maybe you need classes or something to do the subgingival Charter, but you left this behind. I've had that. And I kind of look at them like, thanks for making me feel awful, but I don't feel awful because I know it happens. So then when I see that they left something behind, I'm that first person to go to them and go, hmm, darn, you left this behind. You have 20 years experience, right? Now, wait a minute, you have 25 years experience, but you left that behind. What happened there? You know, I'm very passive aggressive like that. At least I used to be when I was a newbie because people like to tell the newbie that they're doing something wrong, right? But I have 14 years experience now, so that really helps, obviously. But as a newbie, do not worry if you leave Carter behind. So thank you guys for watching. Good luck, have a good day at work, and I'll see you guys very, very soon.